Christ's nature is the only opposing force that will change that ever. Yes. Uh, uh, that, that, that will never be changed because uh, a leopard cannot change his spots. The scripture said, can a leopard change his spots in the Old Testament? Well, I know a leopard can't change his spots. Uh, so can a person uh, change themselves? No, they can, they can diplomatically reason things to where they do not want to go any further. Or they, or they, they realize it's better not to. Or for the moment, they're going to agree. But they, their nature is not changed. Only Christ can change the human spirit and the human will. That's why it's so lovely and pleasant in this place tonight Amen. is because this is a miniature Garden of Eden. Yes. Uh, the, the, the church of the living God becomes a miniature Garden of Eden where we are forbidden to eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And we won't eat of it because we know the tree of life is in the garden. Now, I'm too wise tonight to reach over and start eating me a fresh meal of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil with all of you here, with all of you present, uh, and, and me present, because I know that I'm in the Garden of Eden. I'm, I'm in the Ecclesia. I'm in the called out. I'm in the separated. I'm in Mount Zion. I'm in the church of the living God. It's too lovely. It's too pleasant to here tonight with the family of God. That's why I'm so enticed to be here. Thank you, Lord, for Saturday night. That's why I seldom, seldom ever go outside the boundary lines in a seven-day week of the family of God. It has to be something very compelling. Uh, if not here, somewhere, I'll be with the family of God uh, three, four, five times a week because I know if I stay in the garden of God, I will be less compelled to eat of the tree of the knowledge good and evil, that but if I get outside this perimeter, I know the nature that is only sanctified, not eradicated. Yeah. See, the Holy Ghost does not eradicate no, uh, the fallen man. The Holy Ghost does not eradicate the fallen nature. No. When the Holy Spirit comes in, there's two words, sanctification, eradication. Uh, sanctification, means setting apart. Setting apart. Eradication means doing away with. Getting rid of. Uh, the Holy Spirit does not eradicate the flesh life. It doesn't eradicate. Uh, that's why people get in trouble because they come in, get the Holy Ghost, get a blessing. They feel good. They feel good. They're in the church for the first six months, the first year. They don't work on their nature enough. They don't compel their nature to stay in the garden, eat enough of the tree of life, and uh, as a result, uh, five years later, they are unable to control issues and temperaments and, and desires and overwhelming things that takes them out, takes them back, uh, kills their desire to serve the Lord, takes their zeal, takes their energy level, takes their desire, because uh, they've lost that enticing, warm, beautiful feeling that comes with the Holy Spirit when He sanctifies you and He takes you from the world and He takes you out of the world. But you don't leave the world enough. See, and you, you watch and, and be very careful. Be very sensitive to what I'm saying. If you go ahead and cultivate certain things in your life that you just keep cultivating it, it will do the most dangerous thing it can do. It will kill your desire to be with the family of God. And you'll attend less and less, and you'll get farther and farther back, and you'll get farther and farther away. And because the enemy knows if he can separate you from the church, separate you from the gatherings, separate you from hearing lessons like I'm giving right now, and really getting it down in your spirit, not just hearing it, but getting it down in your spirit, he knows. It will be only a matter of time till he won't have to make a choice for you. You'll make a choice. See, you won't have to make a choice for you to go back in the world. You'll make that choice. He, he, he won't have to make a choice for you to stay away from the church. You'll make that choice. Uh, you won't have to. He won't have to make a choice for you to not read the Word of God. You'll make that choice, and you.
he'll read, uh, not read the Word of God. Uh, he, he, because he knows that he separated you uh, from the sanctification of the, of, of the process of eradication. Because you cannot have eradication going on in your life in sanctification unless you stay in sanctification. Yes. Because if you come in and you are not sanctified, uh, then you're not going to have eradication. That is, gradually, little by little, day by day, week by week, service by service, line upon line, all of that desire for you. And the first thing that something comes along that you think, well, I, I just don't have to, I don't really have to be with God's family, I don't really have to be with God's people, I just don't have to be. And there'll be a little voice and you'll say, that's right, you're all right without it, you really don't have to. After all, you're a good person. After all, you're you're all right. You don't really need that. Some people need that, but you don't need that. Uh, some people really need that, but you don't need that. Uh, and the next thing you know, uh, you won't. Uh, 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 the, the world won't have to say, "Come, go with me." You'll say, "I'm going with your world. I'm going with your world," because you got too far away from the sanctification or the setting apart, uh, and and so eradication. Doing away with stopped. Yes. And it just stopped. That process stopped. There's nothing being eradicated. Right. You've been sanctified because I'm in the church. I've got the Holy Ghost. Yes. I heard Brother Marlowe say, I wish I, but, but there's nothing going on in the process of eradication. So all the habits and desires and feelings and all the overpowering urges is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger because there's no knife fiddling them away, there's no sword cutting them back. They're just in there throwing. Uh, but but uh, yet you're sanctified because you pledged that you were apart from the world and you were leaving the world and you were going, but there's no eradication going on. There's nothing happening inside the soul and the spirit because the Garden of Eden is not being visited often enough. Where that you know that you hear the commandment, don't eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil for you'll die, but eat of the tree of life. And, and you don't hear that because that voice isn't being heard anymore because you are sanctified. Do you belong to the church? I do. Uh, uh, Brother Marlowe, are you still a preacher? I am. Uh, are you still preaching the word? I am. But, I'm, but, but it's not our process going on. The eradication is not going on. See, that's why Paul said in 1 Thessalonians 5 and 23, Paul said, And may the very God of peace sanctify you and now, here, here is, here's the kick to that. Here's what I'm saying. Now, if you leave it, just sanctify you. And may the very God of peace sanctify you. Uh, if you leave it like that, uh, then you don't really get what Paul is saying. See, you don't really get what he's saying. But he said, the very God of peace set you apart. But how? But how? Holy. W-H-O-L-L-Y. Uh, completely set you apart so that when you are completely set apart, then your whole spirit and soul and body can be preserved blameless under the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because when you're set apart holy, but when you're sanctified W-H-O-L-L-Y, then, then, see, then the process of eradication or doing away with, so you have that habit and you cultivated it for years and it captured you and bound you and you uh, and uh, you went through a repetitive, uh, repeating process over and over again. But suddenly it's being eradicated. How's that being eradicated? Because you're not just sanctified, but you're sanctified holy. Because the Word of God and the Spirit of God and the presence of the Garden of God, the lovely gathering together of the people of God. You're enticed. You're enticed to come to where the family of God is. You're, you're enticed to be where the church is. You can't stay away. You can't separate yourself. You, you, because, you see, there's a process going on in you to where you're being eradicated. There's something in you that's being done away with. You're not just being sanctified, but there's another process of you... Uh, there's, a, there's an element uh, of the flesh life, the desires. Of, so when people say, we've got our schedule lined out, 